just want to briefly say something about the ethic of Muhammad. And I challenge every Muslim, if I am lying. Now, one of the one of the Ten Commandments, the Seventh Commandment, any Christian, would you please tell me what is the Seventh Commandment? Very good. What is the Seventh Commandment, the, the Law of Moses? The Seventh Commandment, in Exodus chapter 20, Moses said to the Israelites, Thou shalt not commit adultery. Period. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Period. And when Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 5, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. How? He said, you have yet that it was said by him of all time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever lusts after a woman in his heart has already committed adultery. Now let's come compare this to Muhammad, the ethic of Muhammad in Quran chapter 66, verse 1. Here Allah said to Muhammad, O oh Prophet, Minister, O oh Muhammad, why hold thou to be forbidden that which Allah has made lawful to see? Thou seekest to please thy consort, but Allah is often forgiving, most merciful. Here in Surah chapter 66, verse 1, Muhammad had a slave woman, a maiden, by the name of Maria, and Hafsa was outside. And Muhammad having sex with Maria at the bed of Hafsa. And when Hafsa came home, she found out that Muhammad slept with Maria. And she said to Muhammad, how dare you shock a woman or have sex a woman on my bed? And then Muhammad begged Hafsa, I beg you, please do not kick me out. I will not do it again. But over and over, Muhammad committed adultery. So according to my Bible, Muhammad was an adulterer, and an adulterer has to be stoned according to your religion. Therefore, according to your Quran, and according to your religion, Muhammad has to be stoned to death. Why? I get chapter 66, verse 1. Where you get that from? The hate from the Chapter website. Quran, in the Quran. In the Quran, no hadith. The Quran. Look what it says. He's not Muslim, brother. They all lie. They all pretend they're Muslim. No, no, no. He's lying, brother. He's a kind of a liar. In Quran, in Quran, look what he says. I'm not lying. Chapter 66, verse 1. Oh, Prophet, Allah talking to Muhammad. Oh, Prophet, why hold thou to be forbidden that which Allah has made lawful to see? Thou seekest to please thy consort, means thy wife. Why are you afraid of your wife? What Allah has made it lawful for you to sleep with your maiden slave woman, Maria? Why are you holding yourself back from sleeping with Maria? What Allah has made lawful for you, do not forbid yourself. Now, Moses said, Thou shalt, Muhammad, thou shalt not commit adultery. Jesus Christ said, You have feared that it was said by several more times, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, if you lust in your heart after a woman, you have already committed adultery. Therefore, my friend, glory be to God. Glory be to Yahweh. Elohim, we worship Jesus Christ because he was sinless, he was perfect, he was pure without fault. We rejected Muhammad because not only Muhammad slept with Aisha nine years old, not only Muhammad forced his adopted son Zayd, adopted son Zayd to, for, to divorce his wife Zainab and sleep with it. We discover that Muhammad committed adultery and according to your Quran, according to your thought, Muhammad has to be stoned to death. And here we go, my friend. Jesus Christ said to the adultery woman, he said to the adultery woman, woman, where are so signed accusers? Has no man condemned me? She said, no man, Lord. Jesus Christ said, neither do I condemn you. And he gave her a commandment, go and sin no more. That's how Jesus Christ set the adultery woman free. He said, I am the one without sin. I am the one who gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. I am the one to stone you to death. But neither do I command you, condemn you. Go and sin no more. Because he called Jesus my Lord. They all left. They all left. You are alone here. Uh, you are on the ground, I'm standing. You can stand up and stone me. But Jesus Christ knew the heart of this woman. She said, woman, 
Now is the door condemning you. Amen. Now is the door condemning you. Go and live in peace and sin no more. And that is why God bless you. Yeah, sure, sure, that right. is why God bless you. Yeah, I love you, brother. I love you. Yeah, thank you. That's why we worship Jesus. Because our God is the God of Muslim. Our God is the God of Jew. Our God is the God of Arab. Our God is the God of the whole race, class, gender, nationality, color. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No more in the past, no more in the present, no more in the future. We'll see God except through me. Now, only in the Quran, only Allah can resurrect. Only Allah has power to raise dead from the dead from the dead. Or a man who died from the dead. Because if that is true, Jesus Christ said in John chapter 11 to Martha, when Lazarus was dead for four days, he said, where did you lay him? That's the only place in the Bible Jesus Christ asked for information. He said, Martha, Mary, where did you lay Lazarus? Martha said, Lord, by now he smells, he stinks, because he has been in the tomb for four days. He said, show me, where did you lay him? When they came to the tomb, he said, roll away the stone, roll away the stone. They all, the chill, everybody was shocked. Everybody was shocked. He called Lazarus by name. He didn't pray. He didn't say God. But he said, I thank thee that they may know that you are the true God and that you have sent me. He said, Lazarus, come forward. Lazarus, come forward. Then the next command, he said, remove the linen from him. Let him go. He is not dead. He is sleeping. So Jesus Christ said to Martha, he said, Martha, I am. God bless you. God bless you. He said, Martha, not I will be in a day of judgment. Right now, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever lived and believed in me shall never die. Do you believe that? Again, Martha said, I know, Lord, in a day of judgment. But Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. That means Jesus Christ is. He said, before Abraham was, I am. The, Jew, the Muslim said, where did Jesus said, I am God? The Jew, they crucified Jesus, not because he was doing a good work. They crucified Jesus because they said, you've been a man, a mere man, call yourself your God, your father, and make yourself equal to God. Because he said, before Abraham was, I am. They pick up stone to stone him. They said, you are not even 50 years of age. How dare you say, before Abraham was, I am. But he was, and he is, and he will be. Therefore, my friend, Jesus Christ is the very God, and the very man, and the very God in the flesh. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? I will tell you why. I will tell you why. I will give you one last example. One last example as an ex-Muslim. Jesus Christ. As an ex-Muslim. As an ex-Muslim. It was a stumbling drop block to call God Jesus God. Look what Isaiah said. Isaiah chapter 9. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. I will probably I will step down with that. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Before Isaiah 9, Isaiah 7 14. He said, Prophet Isaiah to the Jew in exile in Babylon. He said, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. The reference, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Therefore himself, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Then he said, then he said, for unto us the child is born, and to us a son is given, as the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called dual, dual name. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. How dare you say, Alayhi wa salam, while Jesus Christ said, Ana, Ana Malik al Maluk, I am the Prince of Peace, I am the King of Peace. Therefore, my friend, a prophet Isaiah, seven to eight hundred before Jesus Christ was born, if Isaiah called Jesus the Mighty God, the wonderful, be the wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Then he said, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order and to establish it with judgment and with justice. From henceforth, the seal of the Lord of hosts will and shall perform it. That means, thus says the Lord. 
Thus says the Lord, as I live, Jesus Christ said, Thus says the Lord, as I live, Liz Truss, Liz Truss, the, the previous Prime Minister, she said, Jesus said, as I live, every knee shall bow to God, and every tongue shall confess to me. And Jesus Christ finally said, Throw a post okay, to post. Throw a post to the Philippians. <laughs> chapter 5. Chapter 2, verse 5. Look what he said. He says, I'll step down with this. Okay, I'll step down with this. In Philippians chapter 2, from verse 5. What he says, God of Let, this Let this mind be in you. Let this mind be with you. Let this mind be for you. Let this mind be in you. Let this mind be behind you. Let this mind be before you. Let this mind be on your right and on your left. Let this mind be above you. Let this mind be beneath you. Let this mind be with you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being the form of God, so no robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of man, and defined fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death even with the death of the cross wherefore God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus that at the name of Jesus that at the name of Jesus not in the name of Allah not in the name of Muhammad not in the name of Krishna not in the name of Buddha but in the name of Jesus every knee should bow I've seen in heaven I've seen on earth I've seen under the earth that means angel in heaven, mankind on earth, and demon under the earth will submit to the full authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. As then he said, every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let us pray for Muslims. Let us pray for this Jahil, ignorant Muslim. We love him. We pray for him. Let us pray for that beautiful soul of a Muslim pray. woman who are listening. Father. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, my Muslim sister, hey, may hey, give unto you God? Individual, God? the spirit of wisdom Do you and pray revelation to Jesus? unto you also. Unto you also. Do you pray to Jesus? I pray with the, we pray without sinning. Oh, no. We pray, pray without sinning. Tell me. In the name of Jesus. Did Jesus pray? We pray just in the name oh, of Jesus. Jesus we pray. pray in the who name of Jesus. Who did Jesus pray to? My Bible said, there's only one God uh, and one mediator between God and men. One God. The man Christ Jesus, who gave name. up himself name. a ransom for all, name. for you, for God. you, for you. That's God and mother. There's only one God and one mediator between God and, God and men. The man Christ Jesus, who How gave God up himself you? for all, that he may be justified in due God. time. Now, why God. we are so crazy about Jesus Christ? Because in the Quran, Muhammad was called committing adultery in a bed of Hafsa with her maiden Maria. And Hafsa rebuked Muhammad and Muhammad begged Hafsa, please don't kick me out. Only one is, I will not do it again. But the sword tell us Muhammad over and over commit adultery. And in my Bible, I'll finish with that. In my Bible, in Exodus chapter 20, the seventh commandment, God said to Moses, tell my people, thou shalt not commit adultery. Peter. And when Jesus Christ came along, he said, you have heard the request said by them, over time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that if any man lusts after a woman in his heart, have all Jesus grow up. Did God grow Glory up? to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that I do not say it in a sirat al mustaqim anymore because Jesus Christ said, My son, I love you. I am the sirat al mustaqim. I am the narrow way. I am the narrow gate. Only a few will find it. And he said, My son, don't say, Say, in my name, we forgive. And we bless yeah, those yeah, who trespass yeah, against yeah, him. He said, because, he said, I command you. I told you, my son, my daughter, who's love your son? enemies. Who's love your son? enemies. Bless, bless them that curse you. Bless them that hate you. And, and, hate you. and pray for them who despise to use you. And I, I, I still you. don't say, okay, 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 We never say, We said, I love you. Let me hug you. I love you. You see, because he has a sinful heart. Am I gay? I'm not gay. Let me hug you. Be a man. Be a man. Not only we hug, immediately we give a kiss to him. Let me kiss you. That is the difference. Our character, our conduct, our conversation is consistent. 
with the word of God. Okay. You are okay. contradicting okay. Muhammad's culture. Okay. Muhammad is a key. A key. Let me kiss you. Let me kiss you. Let me kiss you. Let me kiss you. Hey, hey, hey. You see, that's why we believe in Jesus Christ. He said, greet each other with the Holy Kiss. Greet each other with the Holy Kiss. Greet each other with the Holy Kiss. And he said, a new commandment. A new commandment. That you love one another as I have loved you. By this old man and old woman now that you are my my, my, my believer, my disciple, if you have love to another. Man, Jesus Christ loves you. This is my daughter. My daughter, I died for you. By my death, many daughter, by my suffering, many sons have been reconciled to God. He said, My daughter, my daughter, my son, come home. And I will show the deepest party. Heaven has ever seen. For I have always been father. And I will always be Jesus. My question is, will you be my son? Will you be my daughter? And he said, I I'm waiting for you. I will never give up on you. I love you because I died for you. The primary purpose Jesus Christ came to die for sinful men like me and you, not because we are lovely, but because we are sinful, we cannot make it to heaven with 72 virgins, river of wine, river of honey. He said, my son, my daughter, enjoy sex in a marriage, marriage beautiful, sex is beautiful in a marriage, in my heaven, in my heaven with my pastor. Not only there is no sex, there is no marriage. There is no river of wine. There is no 72 virgins in heaven. You've been deceived by the ideology of Muhammad. My brother speaks Arabic very well. There is no 72 virgins in heaven. There is no river of wine in heaven. There is no river of honey. Jesus Christ said, in my heaven, in my kingdom, in my heaven, in my kingdom, no only is there no sex, there is no marriage. Let me pray for this man. I love him. Let me pray for him. Let me pray for him. Let me pray for him. Because I will be one to be saved. We want him to be saved. Let us pray for him. Since we are here with no sin to pray for you, that you may be filled with the knowledge of his with all spirit of glasses, that he may be what perfect and holy. Let us pray for him. We pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you, Usman. Usman, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you, Usman, to you, to you. Of his son, Jesus Christ. The Lord, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. I don't see this gentleman, this beloved man in heaven. You know why? I do not see you in heaven. You know why? Because you guys, you brothers, you are so close to the throne of God, and I'm so far away from the throne of God, therefore I have no opportunity to see you. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do all. You too. You are so close to the throne of God in heaven. You are so close to the throne of God. I have no single opportunity to meet you in Jesus' mighty name. Surat al-Nisa, I am about Latin. Surat al-Nisa, I am about Latin. My Muslim friend in the West, they have changed the Quran. In Arabic, said Asra Buhunna. But in English, they added to the Quran. It's a lightly, slightly. Therefore, the Bible, the Bible is not changed. But the Quran is changed. The Bible is not changed. But the Quran is changed. It will not work on you. Muhammad will not work on you like that. He will not work on you. He will know that you. Allah does not know you, my friend. Allah does not know what's your name. Hapsa, Hapsa, Allah does not know you. Hapsa, you must come to Jesus Christ. Hapsa, Allah does not know you. He said, my sister, my daughter, Hapsa, I love you because I died for you. I met you yesterday. And I still, I pray for you. I cried for you and for my brother yesterday. I cried for you after you we came. Uh, hold on, hold on. After you Why came, Hapsa, Hapsa, hold on. Hapsa, can I ask can I please? See, for, after you left, after you left. Two so called Christian lesbians, they called the police on me. But you didn't call the police. That's, that's no, the you didn't call the police. But they called the police on me because only I said God created Adam and Eve, no Adam and Eve. Okay, and today we will say, we will say, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the only way. 
I am the truth, the only truth. I am the life, the only life. God. No mind in the past, it no mind in the present, no mind in the future. It we'll see God, say what God except through what me. What has this benefited us in humanity? Where does Jesus say it's God in the Bible? What Sorry. has this benefited Where does Jesus, Jesus say it's God in your Bible? It's set in your Bible. Where does the word was with God? And the word was God. 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 Doesn't the Quran say it? Oh. Jesus is Kalimatullah, oh, but, Jesus Ruhullah. But you got everyone here. Ask my question. Yeah. No, no, no. Doesn't the Quran, doesn't the Quran, doesn't the Quran, Jesus, not Quran, Jesus no only Kalimatullah, okay. no Jesus, okay. only Ruhullah. The Quran says, the Jew, me. they said to Mary, Mary, you Show are a black, you are what? You are a fornicator. Show me in the Bible where said, Jesus is God. Baby. He will yeah, speak for himself yeah. in a cradle of Jesus. Spoke. And Jesus, yeah. Jesus, okay. he made from the man, he so made from the man a bird. And he blew to the north of that bird. Show and the bird fly. And in the Quran, in the Quran, he said, in the Quran, Allah said to Muhammad, if any man create a bird, or any creature from man and give a life, he's a creator, not the creation. Therefore, according to your Quran, Muhammad Jesus, not only, not only Son of God, he's the creator. He created you. Who? 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 Who created you? According to your Quran, Jesus Christ is a creator, not a creation. He proves one time. Okay, in your Christian Bible, in your Christian Bible, stop, stop. In your Christian Bible, in the in the book of Acts, chapter two, okay, what, so verse, uh, let me let me finish. In the book of Acts, in every Christian Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter two, verse twenty-two, it says, "Jesus of Nazareth was a man sent by God to you to do miracles." You take it out of context. Don't forget. You just said that Jesus was a man. One question at a time. Yeah, yeah. One question at a time. Let me deal with you first. Let me deal with you first. Okay, go on. Okay, let me deal with you first. 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 Let me deal with Okay. okay. Do you, do you, this is it true? Stick to, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I will tell it's you why. True. I will tell you. It's so true. Jesus okay. Was a man. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's <laughs> deal this way. Okay. Hapsa. Hapsa. Usman. In a civilized dialogue. Go on. Answer the question. Your question. Go on. Okay. okay. Answer okay. it. Okay. okay. Will you listen to me? Yeah. Go on. Okay. I ask you a simple question. Who is speaking? And who's the audience? Okay, let's see. Again, I'll tell you. Hold, hold, ask my question. I answer your question. What's my question? Who okay, is speaking? So who is speak. speaking? And who's the audience? So let me tell you. Go on. So when in your Bible, in the book of Acts, yeah. chapter 2, yeah. verse 22, it get... says, it says. I'm asking you. You just repeat it. It's the same question. Read the next verse. 23. Read the whole chapter. Read 23. Read the whole chapter. 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 Read the Verse 22. Let me read for you. It Let says, me read for you. Let me read for you. Okay, read. Okay. Nice read. okay. But quiet. Usman, read. you must allow me. You must allow me to give you my answer. Sorry. You must allow me. I'll read it. You ask okay. Question, okay. Answer. Before I read it, who is the who is who is the speaker read. and who is the audience? I'll read it. Ye men of Galilee, you men of Israel, hear these words: Jesus of Nazareth, no any Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, a man, a prophet of God. Among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him uh, in the midst of you, as you yourself also know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Jesus, okay. Jesus is between us now and you don't know who he is. Sister, 